Imagine stepping into a world where the lines between reality and imagination blur. A world much like in the game Darkseed, where Mike Dawson is pulled into the hunting, twisted vision of H.R. Geiger. Nightmarish, yet strangely beautiful. In that moment, you're not just looking at art. You are inside it, part of its unsettling narrative. There's awe, fascination, but also an eerie sense of danger. Now picture that same experience. But this time, the artist isn't human. It's a machine. AI-generated art is captivating, surreal, and at times indistinguishable from the works of human masters. It can conjure intricate, dreamlike landscapes and disturbingly lifelike portraits. But here's the question. Is this creativity, or just a reflection of human input, reassembled in ways we don't yet fully comprehend? Are we, like Dawson, stepping into a world that feels alive, but in truth is cold and mechanical? This brings us to a deeper philosophical question. What is art? If art is about expression, about capturing human experience and emotion, can something created by an algorithm ever hold that same weight? Or are we witnessing the emergence of a new kind of creativity, something that doesn't need to understand us, but still resonates with us? In Darkseed, Dawson's journey into the art is one of confusion, danger, and self-discovery. He's lost in a world that doesn't care for his humanity, only using him as a pawn. Similarly, are we at risk of being lost in AI's creations, entranced by its beauty, but stripped of the personal connection that art once gave us? Will the soul of art survive in this new digital age, or is AI leading us into a dystopia of emotionless creation? Today, we'll explore these ideas. Should we celebrate AI art and embrace it as the future of creativity? Or, like in Geiger's unsettling landscapes, is there something darker lurking beneath its perfectly rendered surface? Let's dive into this new frontier and see if we can find the answers. But not all journeys into art end in wonder. Sometimes, like in Darkseed, when Mike Dawson is pulled into Geiger's alien world, you're not just exploring. You're trapped, suffocated by a reality that no longer feels familiar. And maybe AI art is doing the same to us. There's a darker side, one that makes us question whether we should even be embracing it at all. AI art, for all its technical brilliance, lacks something vital, humanity. The machine doesn't feel, it doesn't think in the way we do. It can analyze patterns, learn from millions of images, but it doesn't have personal experience, suffering, joy, or passion. When we look at an AI-generated piece, are we seeing creativity or just a digital echo, something that mimics art but has no soul? Then there's the threat it poses to human artists themselves. Just as Dawson finds himself lost in a world not his own, Many creators today are facing a reality where their work can be replicated and even outshined by algorithms. Why pay for an artist's time, skill, and vision when a program can churn out thousands of pieces in a fraction of the time? Does AI art cheapen what it means to create? And there's more at stake. Art has always been a form of rebellion, a way to express the inexpressible, challenge norms, or shine a light on hidden truths. But AI doesn't understand rebellion or the need to challenge authority. If art becomes the product of algorithms designed to please, what happens to its role in society? Does it become nothing more than a commodity? Just another tool for corporations to profit from, rather than a voice for the unheard? In Darkseed, the world Geiger created was unforgiving, using Dawson for its own purposes indifferent to his humanity. AI art, too, risks using us, mining our data, our ideas, 
and then discarding the very people who inspired it. It could reduce creativity to code, where the rich history, context, and personal struggles that make art human are erased, replaced by something cold, calculated, and ultimately empty. So, should we hate AI art? Like Dawson's struggle to break free from a world that doesn't care about him, we have to ask ourselves, are we losing something precious in this transition? Are we, in our fascination with what AI can do, allowing it to erase what made art powerful in the first place? AI generated images flooding galleries, pushing human artists to the fringes. Maybe in our pursuit of progress, we're stepping into a trap, a world of art that no longer belongs to us. And just like in Darkseed, we might not realize what we've lost until it's too late. Dream Machine is a text-to-video model created by Luma Labs and launched on June 12, 2024. So it's a pretty young app. It bases its video output on user-inputted prompts or still images. Now imagine a future not too far off, a world where the true artistic elite are no longer painters, sculptors, or photographers. The most revered figures in the art world are prompters. These masterful visionaries have elevated the humble art of typing things into a box to the highest standard of creativity. True genius now lies in crafting the perfect string of words to coax the algorithm into delivering just the right shade of surreal dystopian chic. In the near future, prompters could become new superstars. Single well-crafted prompt can generate a thousand digital masterpieces, each unique, yet each carrying the unmistakable touch of the prompter's true genius. These prompters are paid top dollar to grace AI studios with their creative phrases, laboring for whole minutes on a single line of text that will guide the AI into manifesting something transcendent. The world-famous Prompter Guild even holds annual exhibitions where art lovers can read through celebrated prompts, each one framed and hung on the walls for all to admire. Look at this one, the critic whispers in awe. The way they've juxtaposed celestial and gothic, utterly profound. You can feel the tension. Indeed, this is a future where prompters have transcended mere typing to become cultural icons, revered as the true artists of our time. Because, let's be honest, it's not about the algorithm, it's about the prompt. True creativity distilled into a sentence. Artificial intelligence does not do art, she steals it. Artificial intelligence doesn't make real artists, it kills them. But for every shadow, there's also light. Yes, AI art raises important concerns, but let's not forget, there's another side to this story. If we step back and look beyond the fear, we might find that AI art offers something new, something that can be celebrated. Think about it. AI can push the boundaries of creativity in ways we've never imagined. While it's true that machines don't feel, they aren't bound by the limits of human experience. AI can combine styles, forms, and techniques in ways no artist ever could, melding the classical with the futuristic, merging the surreal with the hyper-real. It's like having access to an infinite toolbox, where the only limitation is how far we're willing to explore. In the same way Mike Dawson in Darkseed steps into Geiger's mind-bending world, AI art lets us venture into territories previously inaccessible. We're no longer restricted by the physical or even by human intuition. Imagine the possibilities when we collaborate with AI rather than fear it. Humans bringing the emotion, the soul, and AI providing the technical power to bring even our wildest dreams to life. And let's not overlook the democratizing effect of AI art. Historically, creating art, especially on a grand scale, was often reserved for those with resources, formal training, or access to certain tools. Now with AI, anyone can experiment, create, and contribute to the artistic world. It's not about replacing human artists. It's about lowering the barriers, allowing more people to express themselves, to discover their inner artist. Many artists already use AI as a tool, much like a brush or a camera, to take their work in new directions. It's a collaboration, 
a fusion of human intuition and machine precision. Just as Dawson has to use both his mind and the alien technology he finds to survive in Darkseed, we can combine the best of what we are with what AI can do, leading to creations that are richer and more complex than either could achieve alone. And finally, let's consider that AI doesn't need to destroy the meaning of art. It can help expand it. In the same way photography once faced criticism for being too mechanical to be art, AI might just be the next evolution in how we define creativity. It challenges us to rethink what art can be, pushing us to find new ways to connect, interpret, and find meaning in what's created. It's not necessarily a replacement, but an addition, a new voice in the choir of artistic expression. So should we love AI art? Maybe we should. It's not the cold, empty void some fear. It's a new tool, a new world, but one we're not merely trapped in. Instead, we can shape it, mold it, and make it our own. And so we come to the ultimate question. Who's the bigger artist, the human or the AI? The creator or the creation? AI in many ways can be seen as the child, born from human minds, trained by human hands. It reflects the patterns, the data, the inspiration we fed it. Like a child, it learns and grows, producing works that sometimes surprise even its creators. But can the child surpass the parent? Can it become the greater artist? Or does it merely mimic the genius of the minds that built it? Humans, on the other hand, are driven by experience, emotion, and a desire to express what it means to be alive. Our creations are filled with stories of love, struggle, hope, and despair. Art, for us, is an act of communication, a way of sharing what can't always be said with words. We are not perfect, but maybe that imperfection is what makes our art resonate so deeply. AI, for all its technical mastery, lacks that vulnerability. In Darkseed, Mike Dawson enters a world created by an alien intelligence, Geiger's world, a vision so powerful that it consumes him. But at the end of the day, no matter how strange or unsettling, it is still Geiger's vision. The creation was born from his mind, his hand. Just like AI, no matter how far it evolves, is still in some sense an extension of us. So who's the bigger artist? The humans who gave AI its spark of life and creativity? Or the AI, the child, which now forges ahead on its own, creating in ways we might never have imagined? Maybe the answer isn't one or the other. Maybe the magic lies in the relationship between creator and creation, in the dialogue between the artist and the tool, the parent and the child. And perhaps it's not about who is greater. Perhaps the question is, what can we create together? <laughs>